Hello everyone, and in this video we are going to cover if statements and if else statements, also known as conditional statements. So the use of a if statement is I think a bit easier than it is in C and C++. Let's take two cases. One case where I have a number, so I'll say value equals 3. And another case if something is true or false. And I'll say thing is equal to true. Now, sometimes in these scripts and these Python programs, you have instances where values might change and you don't know the exact outcome, how it's always going to change. So you need to check if your variables are meeting certain criteria. And the easiest way to do this is to use a conditional statement, meaning an if statement. So in this program, what we're going to try out is we're going to check if our value is going to be equal to 3 and if thing equals true. So how do we start that? So we start by checking with uh, the if keyword. So we say if value is equal to 9. And what's nice about if statements is that I can just add the colon. And by adding the colon, I start the body of the if statement. So notice now it's indented. So whatever code that I type here is going to, is going to be part of the if statement. So for now, I'm actually going to keep things simple and I'm just going to print yay. Now. We are done with the if statement. I'm unindented. It's no longer in the body of the code. So now I want to check if thing is true. And there's actually two ways of doing it. So the, the clever way is to do just if thing. Right? We need to evaluate the truthness. And if thing is already true, we just need to say if true. So if this is true, I'm going to print the statement true. And let's add some excitement there. Right, so this is the equivalent of saying if thing equals true. Right, so the statement on line 16 is equivalent to the statement on line 17. Okay, and again to notice is that the print statement on line 18 is indented and is part of the if statement that begins on line 17. So let's run this code. And this should be a three. Oops. Well, actually, let's keep it at nine. So let's look at the code. So when we check that if value is equal to nine, well, this is not true. And because this is not true, we are not going to execute whatever codes in here. So we just skip to the 15 and we keep going. However, thing is true. And because that statement is true, we are going to print the statement true we execute the line or the code that's inside of the if statement and the code on line 18 is inside of the if statement so why don't we change this to 3 and why don't we uncomment this and comment this let's see the results not too bad so in both cases this was true and this executed as we expected and when we change our value to equal 3 the statement on line 14 was executed right because the statement was true next you may be thinking well this is a situation where I want to do something if this is true what if I want to do something if this is not true and Python has you covered similar to how it is done in C and C++ we create our else statement. So the else statement will be called under the condition that the if statement above it is false. And again, it's indented to denote that it's in the body of the code. So we start the body of the code of the else statement with the colon and whatever's under and indented, this belongs to the else statement. Okay. And in this case, we're still going to keep it simple. And I'm going to say nay. So why don't we change value to 9 and here what we'll do, we'll call this else statement. And I'm going to say 
if thing is not equal tr to true, then thing will be set to true. And now it'll print value is or thing is set to true. Okay, and we'll make this false here. So why don't we run the code and see what happens. Okay, it runs nay because value is not equal to nine and because it's not equal to nine, this statement is false. So we go to this else statement and we print what's in the body here. Now, let's look at the second if, if else statement. Here we check if thing is equal to true. This is not the case because thing is equal to false. So we skip this and we go to our else statement. So what we do is that we set thing to true and we print thing is set to true. Right, and the idea is, is that I can have as much code as I want in here as long as it's indented. Right, as long as it is indented, it is going to be inside of the body of the else and it applies for the if. It doesn't have to be one line. I can do many things. I can say A is equal to some list of, you know, I for I in range of, I don't know, 100. Right, and then I can say, um, I don't know, B is equal to J, J times 8 for J in A. Right, I can print A. I can print uh, B here, right? So I'll set this to true and we'll execute this whole body of code. But the idea is, is that inside of these prints, uh, inside of these if statements and inside of the else statements, as long as it's indented after the colon, you can put whatever you like there. You can put um, loops, function calls, you can create lists, dictionaries, create classes, whatever you'd like. You have a lot of control here. So why don't we run this code and execute this whole entire body of code. Right, and here we are. So here we print this first list, and here we, we make two lists using list comprehensions. Right, so here for every element in here, in the second array is going to be multiplied by eight. So the idea that I want to exercise here is that you can do whatever you like. There's not a problem. And you use if statements just to evaluate the truthness of a statement, right? Sometimes you need to check the current state of a variable. If it's equal to a number or if a function result is equal to something or if it's valid. If you have something that returns true or that is true as a result, maybe you need to double check that the function executed successfully. Right, and you can use that with an if statement. The last thing I'd like to cover is the not equals operator. So here we're using the double equals operator, which we use to compare something on the left to something on the right. This is different from the single equals operator, which is an assignment operator. So value gets a number of nine stored inside of it. Thing gets a value of true. Right here, we're going to be comparing thing with the value true. But the assumption is, is that we don't know if thing is equal to true, so we're checking it. So why don't I do something and I say, if thing is not equal to false, I'll print very nice. Okay, and we'll switch this to false. So the idea here is that since this is false, this is not going to trigger because thing is not equal to true, it's equal to false. So here we'll set thing equal to true and print thing is set to true. And since thing is equal to true, that means when we check that, when we check that thing is not equal to false, this statement is going to be true because thing is equal to true. Oh, I hope that's not too confusing. So let's run this code. Good. This has executed just as we expected. 
So this is a introduction into conditional statements, mainly just the if statement by itself and the if else statements. In the next video, we'll be com we'll be covering uh, another statement called elif, which means else if, and seeing how we can apply that in combination with if statements and else statements. Thank you.